Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. We are back to installing Linux on a 15 year old computer. I believe this is part three. And in a previous uh, episode, we did Zubuntu, which seemed to be okay. The browser definitely was very taxing on the system. Don't know if we'll be able to get away with a lighter browser just because so much of the internet now is made for modern systems, but it definitely allowed us to at least use the internet to do certain tasks, um, but you wouldn't ever want to use it for uh, video like YouTube, things like that. It just was too slow, even loading up Reddit. So this time we're going to go ahead and install Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu. So they should have fairly similar performance uh, between the two operating systems, but a lot of people recommended I try Linux Mint. Whenever I do these videos, I very often get asked about the process of actually installing the operating system onto the machine I'm working on. So I actually wanted to cover that in this video. We're not going to actually review the OS in this video because obviously I'll just be installing it and it's not giving us enough time to actually go through and, and really do a good review of the operating system at this point. Uh, also, I'll be speeding up certain parts of this video. This laptop is old and is slow, and so installing from like a USB, uh, I don't even think it has USB 2. I think it's just USB 1.1, might be USB 2, but it's pretty slow to install anything off of these. So let's go ahead. Uh, the first thing I did is I created a bootable USB drive with Linux Mint on here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do on the laptop itself, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the USB drive. And then we're going to power on the system. And while it's powering on, we're going to hit the escape key. And from here, we're going to go ahead down to the bottom where it says enter setup. Okay, in here, we're going to go to advanced. And then down to boot order. And there's a little plus sign next to where it says hard drive. We're going to hit click on that and it gives us our two options and what we're going to do is select the jet flash and then we're going to hit F6 and that should move it up our list all right and then we're going to hit F10 we're going to save and exit and it will reboot now when it boots it will boot from that USB thumb drive all right and we're going to do in OEM install. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but that USB thumb drive is now flashing away. This will, this is one of the things that will take a while just because it uh, has to read all the data from the USB thumb drive. All right, it took a good solid five minutes to get to this point. So let's go ahead and get it installed.
Okay, we're going to do English and English. We'll go ahead and install the multimedia codexes. Okay, we're going to erase the disk and install Linux Mint. Go we'll ahead, install now. Continue. I mean, let's see, let's do low. There we go. Phoenix, continue. installing hopefully this won't take too long but it does have to reformat the drive before it continues to install All right, installation completed. That took another almost 15 minutes. Crazy. 
So we're what up to almost 20 minutes of the install. We're gonna remove our installation media and we're gonna go ahead and oh, restart. There we go. This will take a little while. It's installing all the drivers and stuff. Hopefully it picks up the wireless. I don't have to do what I had to do with uh, Xubuntu, but I'm sure I will. We are up. Let's poke around just a little bit. Probably have to do some troubleshooting on the wireless. Alright, what do we have installed? So we have graphics, so we have a document scanner drawing, pics, internet, so we have Firefox. Hexchat Thunderbird Mail. Just going through the uh, menu, it feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and open up Office Writer. Yeah, it doesn't recognize the wireless, so we're going to have to mess with that. Seems pretty responsive. Don't save. Let's try. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll reset the camera here and troubleshoot that issue with the Wi Fi. See if we can't get that working. All right, so we are in front of the computer again. We now have a Ethernet cable plugged into my router and we are gonna open up the console. We're gonna do sudo apt dash get purge bcmwl dash k e r n e l dash source hmm oh spelled that wrong Forgot a letter. Purge. Uh, 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a apt sudo get install b43 dash fw cutter firmware dash b for three dash installer. What this is doing is there's some default drivers in here that do not work in Ubuntu. So we're removing those drivers and installing the correct ones. Now we're going to take that off, unplug the network, and reboot. Now we restart. All right, and there we go. You can see that the Wi-Fi light is now blue click it, it turns off, and that turns off the Wi-Fi. Click it again, and the Wi-Fi will turn back on here, hopefully. There we go. And we now have a selection of wireless networks to connect to. So now we are up and installed and ready to go, and now I have a chance to test it. So uh, I'll do that now, uh, go through, test it, and that will be an upcoming video. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, leave those down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer those. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.